Miguel Cotto decisions of game Kamigai wins WBO title. Carson, it has been about 10 years since the best version of Miguel Cotto appeared in a boxing ring. The fighter from Puerto Rico fought and defeated the likes of Ricardo Torres, Paul Malignaghi, Zab Judah, and Shane Mosley. Cotto is still a gifted fighter who can still defeat the fringe contenders of the sport, as he was able to do on Saturday night, outpointing Yoshihiro Kamigai over 12 round before an announced crowd of 7,689 that I am in at the famed StubHub Center. Cotto won the vacant WBO junior middleweight title and improves to 41-5 with 33 KOs. Kamigai falls to 27-42 with 24 KOs. It was the first time Cotto had appeared in a ring since losing a unanimous decision to Saul Canelo Alvarez in November of 2015. Kamigai, who resides in Tokyo, came into the Cotto fight unbeaten in three fights. Cotto has stated numerous times he will not fight past December 31 of this year, calling it a career that will likely lead to a first ballot induction to the International Boxing Hall of Fame in Canastota, New York. Any attempt Kamigai had at a victory over Kato evaporated by the third round. His game plan of backing Kato against the ropes and forcing him to fight off his back foot worked, but received numerous right hands and left hooks to the head from Kato. True to his style, and probably because it was his only way to win, Kamigai continued to remain in front of Kato. Kamigai was able to score with an occasional right hand but received two three punches to the head and body from Kato. By the ninth round, the pace of the fight slowed as Kato's punch output decreased. Kamigai continued to be game, but his punches had little impact on Kato. As the fight entered the final two rounds, Kato was content to box from the outside rather than look for the kill. Scores were 121-108, 119-109, and 118-110 for Cotto, who has world title belts in four different weight classes. While winning a vacant world title may be enough to walk away from boxing, Cotto did state in the post-fight interview that he will return to the ring in December. As for the Kamigai fight, it was business as usual for him. I think I did my best, and I'm happy with my performance. Kamigai is a tough fighter. By the fifth or sixth round, I knew I was not going to be able to stop him. The Miguel Cotto of 2006 would have knocked out the likes of Yoshihiro Kamigai. Cotto is on the downside of his career, but Kamigai came to fight and demonstrated he makes for fun fights. Golden Boy and Tekken promotions will use him again in a televised fight in the near future. As for Cotto, he is content with what he has accomplished and will have no regrets hanging up his gloves after December 31. I will do it, retire. I'm 36 now. I'll be 37 on October 29th. I've done too much over the years. I think it's time. One more in December and that is all. In the co-feature bout, Ray Vargas won a hard-fought 12-round unanimous decision over Ronnie Rios. With the victory, Vargas improved moves to 30-0 with 22 KOs, while Rios dropped to 28-2 with 13 KOs. Vargas was defending the WBC Junior Featherweight title for the first time since winning the vacant title on February 25 with a majority decision victory over Gavin McDonnell. Rios, who once competed as a featherweight, had won his five previous bouts. Vargas utilized his four-inch height advantage to rain punches down on Rios. Vargas consistently landed straight and overhand right hands to the head of Rios during the first three rounds. By the midway point of the fight, Rios closed the distance between himself and Vargas. Rios began letting his hands go more on the inside, especially to the body of Vargas. Rios stunned Vargas with a counter left hook to the head at about the midway point of the eighth round. Just when it looked momentum shifted to Rios' side, Vargas was able to connect from the outside. Rios's punch output dropped considerably, and when they fought on the inside, Rios was not as active as in previous rounds. Scores were 118-110, 118-110, and 115-113 for Vargas. We came here to take the belt back home, 
even if it meant that we didn't get the knockout, said Vargas after the fight. Rios was definitely an intelligent and skillful fighter. He got me with some head shots that threw MW off. He was of an elite level when it came to his boxing. Rios was diplomatic in defeat. I wasn't expecting for him to move so much, said Rios, who resides in nearby Santa Ana. He was running more than I was expecting for him to. We put up a good fight. My team and I will have to go back to the drawing board.